Welcome to the MCCS Marina at Kaneohe Bay. This is a video to help you learn how to use some of our power boats, like our 10 passenger pontoon boats or our six passenger whalers. Please remember that it's against federal regulations to have alcohol on any of our marina boats. Please also remember that we'd like you to treat these boats like they're your own. They are for your use, and we'd like you to treat them with lots of respect. So for that reason, please don't tie them together if your party's larger than 10, which we call rafting, and can seriously damage the boats. Please also remember when you return, it's important to clean the boat up so that the next group that goes out can have a nice boat to use. This is our, one of our 10 passenger pontoon boats. The number of passengers is determined by the marina. In this compartment, I have 10 adult life jackets. I also have one throwable cushion, flares, which you shouldn't have to use, especially during the day, and fire extinguisher. So there's most of your safety equipment in here. If you have a child that's 13 years of age or under, they need to get a ja life jacket to wear. Rather than wear these adult jackets, up on the dock, we have a selection of life jackets of different sizes for the children to wear. Please make sure they get the correct size. Children tend to grab them too large. So make sure, and if you can't find the right size jacket, we have more inside, so just ask us. Back here are your main controls. The first thing you want to check before you go anywhere is your gas. Some of our gas gauges no longer work. This boat doesn't have a gas gauge on the console, but has it on the tank. So if you look at the top of the tank, and he says full, the circle is full, a little arrow is lined up on it, then your tank is full. If you look from the side, you can see the level of the gas. If this tank is more than half full, that's plenty of gas to go out to the sandbar and back with a full load of passengers. Over here are your other controls. The ignition is here with the key. Your shift lever is here. Please notice that neutral is not perpendicular to the water. That's the main mistake people make. You have to learn to find neutral. It can be very exciting around the dock when you return if you haven't figured out where neutral is. One of our main trouble calls that we get from the sandbar is that the boat won't start. And the main reason it won't start is because people haven't put the boat into neutral. 